Welcome. And what today's class is going to be about is lifting our energy up. Lifting our energy up. So feel free to come to a seat, grab a block, hopefully you have one, because we're going to again be doing our bandhas. Okay? The four bandhas. So turn your block, if you have one, like this, so it's the long way between the shins, bringing the knees together. And take a seat and feel yourself rooting down. Okay, in the beginning, we're not going to do Mula Banda just yet, but just feel yourself connecting down into the earth through Muladhara Chakra. Spine is nice and long. And if you're like, Laura, I don't have a block and this is not working for me, you know, with, um, with Varasana, you can sit on the heels and that can really connect you with the root. But if this makes your knees grumpy, then just take an easy seat. Ultimately, this practice has to work for you. Close the eyes, go, go inside and scan how you're feeling. Nice, easy breath in and out. Eyes are closed. Shoulders are down the back. Breathing here. Without any judgment, just compassionately connecting. Another breath. And then let's come off the block. We're going to do our Sufi grind again. So coming onto a seat. And before we do the Sufi grind, let's connect with um, the right foot and just massage the foot for a moment. Getting into the arch. Really look at this foot. Sending gratitude into this right foot all of its service that it gives you. Roll the toes. Sending it love. Sending kindness and compassion into this foot. When was the last time you thanked this foot for carrying you around your entire life? How amazing is that? All the miles, all the places this foot has been. And then go ahead and switch sides. Send in love to this left foot. If you can, if your ankle is okay with it, kind of get it up onto the thigh so you can really work into it. And if you're like, my foot, my ankle doesn't like that, well then get it down on the ground. No worries. Again, what's most important is that this works for you. I've been talking to you all a lot about doing yoga from the inside out, ruling the toes. So often we do yoga from the outside in. You know, how does it look? Do I look like her? Do I look like the instructor? You know, oh, she's going deeper into the pose than I am. That's the outside in. And that's not the way that yoga serves us best. How does it feel? Doesn't matter what it looks like, how does it feel? Coming into an easy seat. Again, nice tall spine. Hands are on the knees, and this is our Sufi grind. So we're inhaling forward in a swirling movement, and exhale back. And I'd love you to really go down into the pelvis. Okay, this is where Kundalini lives Shakti, where we have all of this energy that's pooled at the base of the spine in the pelvis. And what we're doing here is we're starting to lift it up, really connecting into Muladhara, the root. The color is red. The seed sound is lam. Lam. So I want you throughout the whole practice to continually think about an upward spiral, drawing the energy upward in a spiral. And we're going to really bring it, continually bring it all the way up to Ajna, the sixth chakra, 
Draw that chin forward, draw the chin back. Making maybe the circles bigger. Feel down into the root, into the tailbone, the sits bones, the ischial tuberosities. I love that. Feel those connecting into the earth as you grind into the earth. Waking up, Muladhara. And then let's switch and go the other direction and maybe make the circles even bigger if this speaks to your body. Maybe drop the head down and lift the head up in a really kind of sen sinuous, sensual movement. And as you're here in Muladhara Chakra, say to yourself, I am grounded. I am safe. I deserve to be here. I am worthy. I am enough. And then slow it down and come on up to an easy seat. And feel, even as you sit here in stillness, in silence, shunya, feel how you've gotten this beautiful spiral of energy moving, lighting up. Muladhara, the color is red. Lam, lam, lam. Lam is the seed sound of Muladhara. And if it's comfortable leaving the eyes closed, take your block and come on into Varasana. If you need to peek, no worries. So Varasana, again, is hero pose. The knees come together. Sitting on the block. Okay? And getting that block snuggled down so you can really connect into the root. And the root lives right between the anus and the genitals. It's right in that perineal sling of tissue. So kind of snuggle yourself down onto your block if you're sitting on a block. Okay? And if you're not, you can grab a blanket. You can still be seated, um, seated in cross-legged pose, whatever works for you, so you really feel yourself plugging down, plugging down into the earth, getting earthy. This is the element of Muladhara, is earth. Breathing here. Now, if you're pregnant on the first two days of your cycle or have high blood pressure, I don't recommend you do any of the bandhas, okay? And otherwise, and if you are in that space, just breathe, sending your tailbone down. All of us should do this. Feel ourselves. Imagine our tailbone becomes our tap root, sending it deeply down into the earth. The sits bones grounding down into the earth. You can bring the hands onto the hip points, okay, and squeeze in. Squeezing in and feel how that tones the low belly and helps draw you into Mulabanda. Breathing here. And another thing that I've heard that's really helpful with Mulabanda, especially if this is a new practice to you, is imagine that you're levitating. Like as if we're sitting here, and you can release the hip bones if your arms are getting, getting tired, like mine are. And imagine that you're levitating off of the earth and feel how there's a natural lift, a natural lift in the very low belly down in Muladhara. Exhaling. Inhale. And then exhale and draw up and in. And you can kind of think of this as a Kegel. As you get more nuanced, you'll be able to tease apart the, um, the muscles that control the genitals, the anus, and the perineum. 
And the perineum is really what we're aiming for, lifting up and in. So we're squeezing energy up, continuing that upward spiral of energy, lifting up and in. And then we inhale and we release, soften the belly. And again, exhaling, drawing up and in. Lift it up, closing the eyes, and breathe into the color red. As if there's a beautiful, huge beach ball of energy that goes well beyond the body. Inhale. Last one for this set. And exhale, draw it up and in. So that's our prana maya kosha, our energetic body, which extends well beyond our physical body. Exhale. And let's come off the block and come on to hands and knees. Hands are underneath our shoulders, knees are underneath our hips. And we're moving up into Svadhisthana. Svadhisthana chakra is our second chakra. So start making big circles with the hips. What I always love to do here is envision that I have like a paintbrush attached to my tailbone. Like I'm like a, like a cat. And I'm kind of swirling my, my paintbrush around as if I'm drawing circles on the wall behind me. Swadhisthana, the color is orange. And you can start getting into the head, the neck here. And close the eyes. Don't try to approximate what I'm doing. Just feel in here. Feel into this kind of wave-like movement. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Just feel in here. You can imagine that you have a paintbrush on the nose, as if you're drawing circles with your nose. The element in Swadhisthana is water. The color is orange. So it doesn't matter what you do, just sway as if you're in the water, getting really watery and sensual. Sexuality is the element, one of the characteristics, I should say of Swadhisthana. So feeling yourself here, feeling into this body, feeling good. Drop the head down. Again, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Just move the body around. And your affirmation here can be, I am sensual. I am sexual. I am creative. Letting that creativity shine out. The color is orange. And the seed sound is vam. So if you really like to vocalize as you go through your practice, it's vam, vam. And then settle back into your child's pose and just kind of Wiggle it around as if, again, you're seaweed in the ocean. Feeling yourself plugging into this watery element, Swadhisthana. Breathing into that orange beach ball. And maybe settle those hips down and just kind of wiggle it out. Wiggle it out. Forehead maybe comes down onto the mat or down onto a block. Rolling the head back and forth. And then come on and inhale up to the hands and knees. And let's inhale and lift into our Bittalasana, cow. And exhale and arch into your Marjoryasana, cat. So flowing with the spine, flowing. Curl those toes under and exhale, arch into your cat. 
and then inhale, lift into cow, and then plug those hands into the earth and come on up into your down dog. Walk your dog out, moving just back and forth. Shine the tailbone up, let those heels settle. And even here in our cat, our, our dog, our Adho Mukha Svanasana, keep imagining that spiraling energy coming up from the tail, lifting its way up the spine, enlivening the chakras. And then let's glide forward and start connecting with Manipura. Breathing here in our plank. Strong arms sacking bone on bone. Manipura is the solar plexus. It's the city of jewels. Exhale it back. And inhale forward. The color is yellow. You can imagine this like a sun in the belly. The element is fire. Bring the hips up. And come on forward. The seed sound is ram. Ram. And this is where we say, I am powerful. I manifest my vision. This is all about getting things done. Breathing here into your plank. Shaking is good. I'm shaking. Exhale it back down, dog. And then come on forward, plank pose. Keep seeing that upward spiral. Come on down, knees, chest, chin, ashtam, pranam. Butts up in the air, and then ground the hips, hands under shoulders. Open it up, baby bhujangasana. Exhale down, and inhale, lift. Stretch one leg back and then the other. Feel how that roots the pelvis down, and exhale it down. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. Inhale a bit more height. Open the heart. Squeeze into the adrenals. Lift the chin. Exhale it down. Plug the toes into the earth. Plug the hands underneath the shoulders and come on up. Down dog. Exhaling. Tailbone rises up. Head hangs heavy. I am powerful. I am strong. I manifest my vision for my life. Mani Buddha Chakra. Color is yellow. Seed sound Ram. Ram. Roll the head on the neck. Keep seeing that beautiful upward spiral. Float that right leg back and up. Stretch it up. Reach it up. And bring that knee in towards the chest. Feel that crunch in the belly. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knee to nose. And now, if you'd like, you can bring that right leg across the body. This is fallen triangle. With both of the hands underneath the shoulders, this might be your pose. You might be like, yep, this is enough. Okay? And if you'd like, you can bring the right hand underneath the shoulder and float on up. Arm can go overhead like a side angle arm. Breathing here. Another breath. Feel your strength. And then bring that hand down. Hands underneath the shoulders. And bring that knee back and up. Stretch it up in three-legged dog. 
And if you don't like three-legged dog, don't do it, okay? Step that foot forward. Coming into your rear one, arms reach up. Remember that everything I offer here, they're just suggestions. So if you're in a place where you're like, my body doesn't like that, then don't do it. Remember, we're doing yoga from the inside out. How does it feel? Breathe here in your Vera one. Keep breathing into that fire in the belly. Arms reach up. Lift up. Open the heart. And step off onto that right foot. Good grounded energy. Keep the toes down on the, the left foot before you float forward. Focused drishti. Drishti is your gaze. Arms back like airplane wings. Feel the strength in the legs. And then step it back. Spiraling that energy up. Up. Lifting up. Close the eyes if that's comfortable with your balance. Envision beach ball of red energy, Muladhara. Orange energy, Swadhisthana. Yellow energy, Manipura. We're bringing the energy up. And then exhale. Hands come down. Step it back, down dog. Walk your dog out. Head hangs heavy. Tailbone rises up. Roll the head on the neck. Now, your choice here, do you want to come down into child's pose? Do you want to rest here in down dog? Or do you want to flow through a vinyasa? Listen to the body. Coming down into Ashtanga or Chaturanga. Ground the hips. Lift it up. Bhujangasana. Elbows hug the waist. Beautiful back bend. Breathe into the kidneys and adrenals. Exhale it down. Curl the toes, lift the hips, down dog. <sighs> Tailbone lifts up, head hangs heavy. And now we're going to do that same flow on the other side. So if you've been resting in child's pose, I invite you to join us. Flip the left leg back and up, stretch it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and then hold it, and then come across into your fallen triangle. So with fallen triangle, <clears throat> with the left leg now going to the right, left outer edge of the foot on the earth, breathe in here, and if you'd like, left hand comes down underneath the face, and roll it up and over. Breathe, 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 breathe. Breathe into your strength. I am strong. I am powerful. Another breath. Bring the hand down and float that leg back and up and step it forward. Virudrasana one. And inhale it up. Again, spiraling energy, spiraling energy coming up, coming up, coming up, lifting up. And step off onto that left foot. And get your, catch your, um, your balance, really grounding down into the left leg before you bring your arms back like airplane wings. And come on into your Virabhadrasana three. Another breath. And float that foot back. Inhale it up. Spiraling energy lifting up. I am powerful. I am strong. I get things done. Hands come on either side of the foot. Come on down. <sighs> Tip on left, head hangs heavy. Breathe here. <sighs> Flip 
Logging your hands into the mat. And then again, your choice of coming down into child's pose, resting in down dog, or coming through vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, lift up. And then come on to the knees, puppy dog stretch. Palms reach forward, press the hands down. <sighs> Breathing into the underarms. Maybe the head comes down onto a block or down onto the mat. Another breath. And if you're in child's pose, you're welcome to join us in rabbit because we're moving up to the heart. So reaching back, grabbing onto the soles of the feet. And catch the, um, the pinky toes so that the pads of the toes are on the mat, not the nails. And then you lightly hold onto the soles of the feet and you lift up so that there's virtually no weight on the top of the head. Holding onto the soles of the feet so you feel that beautiful stretch through the back heart, through the shoulders, opening up on a hatta. The color is green. This is our heart space. Anahata, which means unstruck. Breathing here. I am abundant. I am loving. I am loved. I am worthy of love. Another breath. And come on back. Walk the hands forward. Plug the hands in, curl the toes, lift the hips, down dog. Spiraling the energy up, lifting up. Floating the right leg back and up, stretch it up if you'd like. Step it forward. <clears throat> Coming into your Vera One, float it up. Breathe up. And then step that left foot forward, Coming into a squat, okay? We're going to do Uddiyana Bandha here. And again, if you've got high blood pressure, if you have glaucoma, if you're pregnant, if you're on the first two days of your cycle, um, I do not encourage you to do this pose. Please don't do this pose, I should say. <laughs> so hands are on the thighs, okay? And with Uddiyana Bandha, we... Inhale, take a nice big inhale, and then it's a powerful exhale through the mouth. Squeeze it out, squeeze it out, squeeze it out, squeeze it out. And then with, with retaining the breath out, we act as if we're going to inhale, which you're like, what does she mean? So we draw the belly up and in, and keeping the chin down, we create this vacuum effect, okay? So again, tailbone um, glides back, inhale, exhale, squeeze it out, and then we, with this kind of sucking in, we create a vacuum, and I showed you all on Friday, I get this big, deep divot here at the base of the throat when I do Uddiyana, and the, the, um, the, the ribs flare out, okay? And you hold until the need to breathe is strong, but not strained. And then you release. So Uddiyana Bandha, this is called flying abdominal lock. So again, inhale. Exhale through the mouth fast and as complete as you can. The more that you expel the air out, the deeper the, um, the lock will be. very hot. So as we're doing this Uddiyana Bandha, we're really sucking energy deeply up from the pelvis, up, 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 bringing it up through the heart into the throat. Let's do one last one. Inhaling. Exhale. Powerful exhale. So 
So when I draw my belly, like you draw your belly up and in, and it hollows out my throat, and I can literally feel my pulse going bang, bang, bang. It's like everything just feels more like um, strong, vibrant, okay? And if y'all have any questions about Uddiyana Bandha, we can totally talk about it after class. So coming um, feet underneath the, the hips, inhale those arms out, reach up, lifting up, feeling the heart shine. Beautiful, 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 open heart. Again, the color is green. The element is air. The seed sound, exhale, come on down, is yum, yum. I am abundant. Inhale, arch up halfway, flat back. Exhale it down. I am loving. I am deserving of love. Again, inhale, arch up halfway, flat back. Exhale, come on down. And walk those feet back. Walk your dog out. And let's take our pigeon. So step our right leg forward, knees out to the side. Tent the fingers and feel into the root, feel into Swadhisthana, lifting up from the root, from the hips, spiraling that energy up, breathing up all the way into the heart, lifting up into Vishuddha, the throat. Lifting the chin if that's comfortable with the neck. And then fold it down. And if you have a block, one, you can put the block underneath the right hip if the right hip is really floating. You can have the blocks. You might be like, whoo, my hips are chirpy. So you might need your blocks like this, okay? Because coming down onto the forehead, Ajna, and closing the eyes. And as you settle into your kapotasana, maybe you melt down more. Maybe you keep turning the blocks. And I invite you to go inside. Go inside. Connecting with that beautiful spiral, starting with muladhara at the root, the tail and see that spiraling up, low in the body, it's red. Going through the hips, it's orange. Spiraling up through solar plexus, yellow. Up through the heart, it's green. And then into the throat, it's turquoise. And while we're here in pigeon, it can be really sweet to vocalize. And especially if you're kind of close down to your mat, you know, you can get some really nice vibration going. So the sound of the heart is yum. The sound of the throat is hum. So really like yum, yum, yum. And feel it vibrate. Feel it vibrate. Feel yourself drawing this beautiful spiral of energy up, up, up. Another breath. Walk it up. Open the heart. Breathe into that beautiful heart. Shine this green energy, this huge beach ball of energy out. Shine this light out of the heart. Breathe into the throat. Lift the chin. Stretch the throat. The color is turquoise. And then settle that right hip down. Get the, a block or blanket out from under your hips if you were propping up. And swing that leg around. Coming into your Matsyandrasana. So with your Matsyandrasana, you can extend the right leg straight if you're leaning. There's a tendency to really lean to the right. So if you're not grounded down, extend that leg straight. Left knee is on top. Roll the right arm around that left knee. Squeeze the leg in. You'll feel a, um, a stretch 
through the piriformis on the left side and twist to the left. Continue to feel and vision this spiral of energy, this kundalini energy, shakti rising, turning, going all the way up into the throat, and we're spiraling all the way up so that all of this energy pours into ajna our third eye, the two-petaled lotus. Another breath. And then gently release. The soles of the feet come together. Let those knees drop open. Breathing into the hips. Elbows heavy, pressing the knees down. Hmm. Press the left knee down, breathing into the groin, and then go in the other direction. And then gently release and plug the hands in. Curl the toes. Come on up. Walk your dog out. Head hangs heavy. And it can feel really nice to swing that right knee back and forth as if it's a pendulum, breathing into the hip. Maybe roll the head on the neck if that feels good. Eyes are closed, rolled up and in in Sambhavi Mudra. Tailbone lifts up, head hangs heavy. And draw that left leg forward, coming into pigeon on this side, doing that whole flow. Now I neglected, for those of you who might have tweaky knees, to show you pigeon on the back, reclining pigeon. So if you're in that space, for those of you who want to continue with classic pigeon, just keep on keeping on, folding down into pigeon as you're ready. For those of you who might be dealing with tweaky knees, we come onto our back, our left ankle goes onto our right knee, and then we bring our knees in. And I always need to coach myself to check in with the neck, because I do very strange things with my neck in reclining pigeon. So maybe roll the right foot on the ankle. You can turn the head from side to side, snuggling those that knee towards the face. You can also reach through and catch the right hamstring if that's what's easiest for you with your body, or you can catch the shin. Figure out how this pose works for you. If you're close to a wall, it can be really sweet to put the sole of the foot on the wall. So wherever you are in reclining, supta, supta kaputasana, or in classic pigeon, wherever you are, keep breathing. Connecting to that beautiful upward spiral of energy. Bringing it all the way up all the way up to Ajna, or Agya Chakra. The color is indigo. It lives right at the third eye, right at the forehead, between the eyebrows. And we're envisioning this spiral of energy activating and opening Ajna. We're drawing the energy up so that Ajna is activating, allowing us to see more deeply, to become intuitive. Breathing, another breath, and then walk the hands up. In our affirmation for the throat, which we haven't talked about yet, Settle the left hip down. If you're on your back, I invite you to sit up and come into your Ardha Matsyandrasana on this side. So with Ardha Matsyandrasana, again, remember, ground the hips down. If you have a hard time, do that. Extend the left leg out. 
Hug the left arm around the knee, twist to the right. So really breathing here into the throat, Vishuddha. And our affirmations for the throat are, I live my truth. I am wise. I live an authentic life. I speak my truth. Continuing to twist open to the right. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then gently release. Soles of the feet together. In your Baddha Konasana. Knees fall out. Breathing here. Again, beautiful spiral from the root all the way up, all the way up, lighting up the heart green, lighting up Vishuddha, turquoise, coming all the way up into Ajna. Color is indigo. The sound is Om. The element is consciousness or this sense of being beyond the senses, beyond this manifest world, connecting to our cosmic consciousness. Breathing. And then coming on to the back. If you have a block, grab your block or blocks. Coming on to the back body. And we'll do our final lock, our final bandha. So if you don't have a block, you can still totally do this. You're just going to lift up into bridge pose without a block. And I invite you to really snuggle the chin down into the chest. This is John Hondra Bandha, the throat seal. Really breathe into the throat. Again, envision the color turquoise. And as you're here, if you'd like, you can put a block underneath the hips. Have the block be lengthwise across the body and low. Okay? And you can like release the hips down onto that block. So this becomes supported bridge. And if you have two blocks, you can put them both underneath the hips to get a bit more height. If you're tall like me and you feel like that's best for your expression. And really bell the heart towards the face. Now if you're in unsupported bridge, come down as you get tired. If you're in supported bridge, just really melt down. Allow the hips to be heavy. Bell the heart towards the face, the chin down towards the chest. Breathe into Vishuddha. I speak my truth. I am wise. The seed sound here is hum. And while you're in Jalanhandra Bandha, it's sweet to say hum and really feel how it vibrates in the throat. You might feel it waterfall down into the heart. Continuing to envision the energy rolling, rising, spiraling up from the root, lighting up each and every chakra as if you are a beautiful rainbow, a rainbow of energy. Eyes are closed. And if you don't have a block, you can kind of lift up and out of Bridge as it serves your body. Another breath. And then send energy into the feet. Lift up. Get the blocks out of the way. And roll down. Breathing here, allowing the spine to normalize. And then when 
right shoe away for those knees back and forth. Look to the left as the knees drop to the right. And inhale them up and go the other way. And inhale up. And then let's gently rock up to an easy seat. We're going to do our meditation before we do Shavasana, which is unusual for us. We usually um, do Shavasana and then meditate together, but I want to include this in our flow since we've done so much work lifting energy up the spine. So take a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like to you. could be um, legs in Sukhasana with seated on, seated on a block or in hero pose, whatever suits you and feel yourself rooting down and then feel yourself drawing the energy up close the eyes visioning visualizing is tremendously activating for ajna so closing the eyes envision that beautiful ball of energy at the root, red, and then the orange ball of energy at the belly, yellow ball of energy at the solar plexus, green ball of energy at the heart, turquoise ball of energy at the throat, and then the indigo ball of energy at the third eye. Breathe in here. Seeing that incredible vortex of energy rising, rising, rising up. Drawing it up. are closed, rolled up and in, Sambhavi Mudra. And with the eyes rolled up and in, on the inhale, I invite you to visualize a bright beam of indigo-colored light that shines from the universe right into the third eye. We inhale, this beautiful beam of light enters the forehead right between the eyebrows, filling up the skull, enlivening Ajna, stimulating the pituitary and the pineal. And then exhale, have that energy water fall down flowing down Shashumna, all the way down, pouring down into Mother Earth, connecting you to Mother Earth. And again, we inhale, and this beautiful ray of light enters us from the cosmos. Its color is indigo blue, lighting up Ajna. Exhaling. That energy pools in the mind's eye and then water falls down. Right down the central channel, Shashumna. Going all the way down, lighting up each and every chakra. Pouring down into the earth. Let's do three more rounds of this in silence. Inhaling the energy into the third eye, and then exhaling it down, lighting up each and every chakra, magnifying, illuminating, aligning all of the chakras in the body.
last one. Inhaling that energy into Ogya. Exhale it down, lighting up each and every chakra. And now gently coming up off the block and come on down into your Shavasana. Whatever that looks like, it doesn't matter as long as it feels good. Feet flat open. Flattening the back body if you're choosing to do Shavasana on the back. And just melt down and let go of everything. Just marinate here in this beautiful energy that we've stirred up in the body. Today's poem is by Dana, and Dana writes, show yourself here, show yourself to me. What use are secrets? Stripped to your barest essence, dancing naked in the sun, hold nothing back. Will you hide? from the wild creator of the world? No, show yourself. Sensual, full of grace or awkward, base or sacred, it's all the same to me. I see past skin. Show yourself. I hear the longing in your morning song. Step forward to the sun's own spotlight. Show yourself and perhaps you'll see what I see. Spirit wrapped in humanity. Spirit shrouded in mystery or shrinking in fear. Spirit, you are no different than me. Show yourself, and your eyes will learn a deeper seeing. Show yourself, and there, find freedom. Breathing here, breathing into this amazing energy that we have welcomed up, an energy that will feed our hearts, feed our souls, an energy that will give us the courage that we need to show ourselves, to become more and more true. Breathing here.
And as you're ready, bringing movement back into the body. Wiggling fingers and toes. Rolling the head on the neck. Rolling the hands on the wrists. Whatever it is that your body is calling out for. Do that now. And then roll over onto the right side and wrap your arms around yourself, sending such gratitude into the heart, such gratitude for this amazing life that you have been given, seeing it with all of its beauty and grace, loving it just as it is. And then carefully press yourself up into an easy seat, bringing the hands together at the heart space. And let's migrate our OM up. Let's do it three times, migrating our OM from the heart, past the throat, to the third eye. Inhaling. as we are. 